We're just finishing up with lunch, about ready to hightail it out of here, leave Utah Lake to go to Antelope Island, which is north and west of Salt Lake City. And once again, it is really windy out here. Oh my gosh, the wind. This is gonna be fun. Fighting gnats might be a problem, the noceums here. What do you think? We're flying through columns like tornadoes of gnats. And it sounds like it's raining, but it's not, it's just the bugs. It's just a constant splattering. And you, there are these, yeah, the columns of bugs are ridiculous. We'll see. We'll see how much time we spend outside here. It's only one night. Yeah, we'll see. There you go, girl. Whoa, the trash can ended up out here. Yes, it did. That's interesting. All right, we have arrived at Antelope Island. We were told the bugs are gonna be horrendous, and they were there were like tornadoes of them driving in. We were driving through them, and it sounded like it was raining. Uh, look at the top of our Airstream. Absolutely covered in bugs, but up here at our campsite, there's not a bug to be found. It's <laughs> there are actually fewer bugs here than there were at Utah Lake. And we are right on, well, close to the Great Salt Lake. Get a nice little covered pavilion, which is, I mean, this is easily the nicest campsite that we've been in. Well-maintained fire pit. And of course, view of the Great Salt Lake. Well, we only reserved one night, but if we like it well enough, might might extend a night. We'll see. See how bad this gets. Yep. Ooh, yeah, they're all over the place now. Yeah. Guess what we saw on the way down to the Great Salt Lake? A coyote. That's why girls are staying here until it passes. Yep. They don't notice it. I didn't notice the gnats when we first got here, but they're definitely here. And by the way, our hoods aren't up because it's cold. Our hoods are up to prevent the noceums from tearing into your head. They recommend mosquito net like headpieces if you're gonna be here this time of year. We didn't happen to have those. Probably... Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Great Salt Lake. Oh, well, it's actually nice temperature. It's not that cold. I'm really surprised. All right, have to feel have to feel the water. <sighs> that actually feels pretty refreshing. Yeah, <laughs> 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 All of 
of the tiny no CMs all over Steve's shirt. I don't know if they can see them. Do I have them all over me? And face. Can you see them? A little bit, yeah, somewhat. Are you pretty clean? Ish. Can you go in and get a towel? A bath? We made an executive decision. After the trip down to the Great Salt Lake, beautiful lake, beautiful campground, and we were initially considering staying here an extra day because it didn't seem all that buggy when we first got to our campsite. But everything has changed. We just didn't see them. They were here, that's why they call them no see -ems. They are definitely here, they are out in force, and they are attacking our dogs like crazy. Poor Penny. I don't know if you can see some of what they did to her, but she's bleeding they around her eyes. They actually drew blood, yeah, around her she eyes. Bleed, blood spots around her eyes, she has these spots, these blood marks on her ears. They got her belly. Poor thing, there's still a couple crawling on her. Yeah, so we're gonna just enjoy it the best we can. We've only reserved one night. We're gonna keep it at one night. I'm siphoning water. I showed you how I how I did that before. Honestly, I don't want to go out and show you right now because I'd rather be inside while that process happens. So Luckily, it is what it is. We are gonna go exploring tonight in the truck. Uh, so maybe we'll we'll take you along for that. But uh, and luckily, it's cool. It's only like 50 degrees out, so we don't have to have any of the windows open because they're our screens. They could get right through our screens. Yeah. So we can't have, we have to be stay up, locked up tight and um, in order to keep them out, so. And to their credit, at Antelope Island, they warn you that they're bad. They're really bad. They insist that they're bad. Nothing works really to repel them. No. So it's not like we didn't know about this going in. That's why we only we booked did. one night. That's why we only booked one night and uh, they're not kidding. So this is in a beautiful place and we would come back here in a heartbeat but not during no CM season, yeah. which I guess is the spring. So. Yeah. This is why it's called Antelope Island. We have a bunch of cows out here. I mean, antelope. Three bison chilling out in the grass. I bet they're waiting for sunset. Look at the view they have. You saw bison. I did. I you saw also saw coyote. Coyote, antelope, and, and you bison. Saw antelope. Yep. That's a pretty nice uh, venture. Yeah. Actually, and we it's... didn't see coyote this time. It was before we went hiking. Yeah. Well, when we went down to the beach. But, and it's really pretty here. I'm sure you've seen six, seven, eight, maybe nine percent graves, but check this out. Beast mode style. We have hit the jackpot. Look at all those bikes. I want to sing home on the rain. You want to sing home on the rain? Me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day.